Hello YouTube family, welcome to my channel. Technically, this is going to my first YouTube video, but from now onwards, I will be keep posting some great contents for you. So let's introduce myself. My name is Akash Nagpal. I am an electronics engineer working in an MNC and currently living in Japan. So without wasting some more time, let's get started. So guys, in the today's video, we are uh, going to build a very basic IoT application for our microcontroller. So we have in this video, we have used ASP32 Nord MCU development port for the application. So here we can see a basic pinout structure for this particular board. So I will be attaching it for you guys in the description. Please check it out and uh, before getting started with the actual development of the iot application we need to do some few steps for installing the board into the arduino ide so so go to the arduino ide open the preferences and in the additional board manager urls we need to paste the url for the sp32 package so here i have already copied it in just pasting it here so for you guys also i am attaching it in the description please check it out so after adding this so we just need to go to the tools board and the board manager option so in the search menu we just need to type asp32 and in my case it is already installed but you haven't installed it then please install it so after the installation we just need to test some basic program whether the installation is correctly done or not so we'll just simply uh, run a program for blinking of led to test it so just we'll go to the file examples basic and the blink yes so for uploading the program we just need to select the board so in my case i have already selected it if you have installed the sp32 boards so you'll get a list of several boards so from the drop down list please select the board which you are using so my board is Zoid ASP32 so I have selected this so it is also getting showed it here if it is selected so just hit the upload button so code is getting compiled so this is a basic program to blink the built-in LED that is present in the micro already so this is the power LED and this is the going to blink so the board is getting uploaded so now we can see the LED started blinking so that means uh, our board is okay to proceed for the IoT application so let's move further so for getting started with the IoT application for our Nord MCU controller so here uh, we are using Synric Pro for the uh, communication we can say so this is a platform to integrate IoT devices like ESP8266, 32 Raspberry Pi, Arduino so like that uh, we are using it so first we can sign up for this particular uh, website so for three devices it is free and above three either there is a charge three dollar per year for per device so for the trial basis we will go for the free account so just create an account in my case i have already created my account i am just directly logging it so uh, here we can see uh, there is not new no devices added so we will directly go to the android id so for this we need to install library first so we will go to the manage library here we will search for scenery pro so you need to install this particular library and its dependencies also so i have downloaded and installed it so now we are good to go so go again back to this generic pro page go to the devices 
add devices in the add devices just uh, name uh, so here uh, for description turn on off light so device type uh, we are using a switch for a app key there is to be default the room you can select according to your room but for my case there is only one room we have selected so click on the next so it is for the notification when the device gets connected or disconnected or on or turn off you will get a notification so this is about the timers we will skipping it right now for the estimation also we are skipping it so now this is important so this is your device id the app key and the app secret so these three uh, keys is required to be integrated so there is one more option in the website so if you want to create a whole code for that particular device so you can directly go to the zero code so here just we need to select the devices whether the tactile button is connected or has a switch for this particular object so we have a, added a switch for this so just go to the next so here just we need to give the relay pin button that we are going to control and the button for the gpio so active low next so for this place enter the wi-fi name that you which want to connect in my case i have entered my wi-fi details if you want to enable SDK logs then you can enable else you can just directly go for the download button so after downloading it just unzip it you can find the auto generated code is there that is ready to use so all the wi-fi credentials app key secret key is already there in the code so what we can do we will directly select the board so after selecting the board just click on the upload button once it is uploaded then we can able to see in the serial monitor whether the board is getting connected to the wi-fi network or not so just go to the serial monitor so as we have selected 150200 in the serial monitor we will go to the that serial monitor and we will see whether it is connecting yes it is connected to the wi-fi network and the ip address is assigned to it so now we'll uh, go back to the uh, page for the syndic and go to the dashboard so we will check whether the light device that which we have added is in online or not so as you can see it is now online so just uh, we will try key after pressing the turn on switch uh, yes the light is getting turned on as you can see by turning off it is getting turned off so similarly uh, we can try for up to three, three devices just uh, i will add it
so uh, now uh, we can see here uh, all the three uh, lights is enabled like the, it is in the off state now we will try for the blue light okay blue light is getting on now we will try for the green light uh, green light is turned on now we will try it for the red light red light is turned on so yes so now uh, we will try the same thing with the help of mobile app also so let's see so here also we can able to see the, all the three lights are there so we will just see blue light is turned on now we will try it for the green light green light is turned on similarly for the red light also you can see first we will turn off the green light for the red light also see it is turned on I hope guys you are now able to learn about how to develop a simple IoT application using Nord MCU controller. So I will be keep posting some new projects related to the IoT based upon different types of microcontrollers. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.